Okay, I am going to do something different from what I usually do. Yeah, and I am going to eat some chocolate. Not any ordinary chocolate, but Cadbury's latest limited edition of chocolate. And that is, uh, um, Vegemite flavored chocolate. Yeah, it sounds quite horrible. I bought this last night. It was a much bigger, much bigger block. But I gave a lot of it away to my friends and I pranked them. Quite frankly, I pretty much gave, say, asked them if they wanted chocolate, and then I would give them to it and trick them into thinking it was actual good chocolate. Instead, they thought it, some thought it was horrible, some thought it was mixed, some thought it was actually quite good. So, let's begin with me. Let's see if this is as horrible as what it sounds like. Okay, uh, that was not as bad as what I thought it would be. Yeah, it's not great either, but it's not horrible. Now, surprisingly, I actually didn't mind it. I feel mixed about it. You know, it has some chocolatey in it, it has some Vegemite in it, and it kind of feels very mixed. Now, looking into the insides of that, it looks quite horrible, doesn't it? Yeah, it does not look good. But honestly, it's not bad. I don't know what to think. It's pretty good, it's pretty bad, it's like, I don't know what to call it, it's like, I, I can't think of an example to compare it to, it's just veggie my chocolate. So, uh, what is this worth buying? Honestly, I would say yes, because if you want to know what it tastes like, and it does it sound as revolting as you would believe it would be. But it's not great either. It's probably worth your time, just out of curiosity. Ah, uh, the Vegemite. Vegemite in general, I like. As long as it's done right. You know, you don't use it like peanut butter and just put it onto the toast or onto the bread. You have to be very careful and delicate with it by carefully no, by carefully spreading it onto the toast and then melt it and then make sure it melts into the butter and, and then make sure it melts into butter. Now, veggie my chocolate. It's really mixed. Yeah. Surprisingly, the people that I actually told that the chocolate was uh, veggie mite flavoured didn't actually hate it as much as the people who had no idea about it. And I wonder if that's because they're led to believe, okay, it sounds like it's going to be taste like Vegemite. While the others are like, ooh, it's probably caramel or something. And, ugh, I did not expect that. I don't know. Just a thought. Now, uh, one of the people I did prank with this was, his name is, uh, well, I won't name, I won't name his name, but his, he does have a YouTube channel, and he does do gameplays. It's he. It is called Body Counter. Now he does gameplays, and they're very well done. He does it mostly for the game Dying Light, but he's only recently started out. And I would strongly recommend you to subscribe to that channel. The link is right below. And I understand why Cadbury did do this. I mean, it it get, doesn't. It certainly generates interest. People would buy it out of curiosity because veggie my chocolate is that like bacon flavored gum that I saw in America? Yeah, this is a shirt from America. This is a shirt from America. Yeah, that's what got me thinking. I understand why they did it, but it kind of sounds like a t eight year old child is just making his lunch, making his lunch, and he's putting everything that he can imagine together. Oh, chocolate and veggie my that sounds amazing. And then when he really does this, he's like, oh, um, it wasn't so amazing. But I can see the reasoning behind this. Because it wouldn't generate cash. Would I buy it again? Probably not. But am I glad I bought it and, and am I glad that I ate it? Yeah, I am. I'm glad I know what it tastes like and I'm glad I have an opinion on it. But I would not buy it again. 
it's a one-off for me and that's exactly what it is. So guys, thanks for watching. What did you think of this? If you've had it, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. See you next time.